Well, time for more unboxing. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, that was actually the one I didn't want to open first. <laughs> oh, well. I actually got these boxes yesterday, but I had to go to work. I didn't have a chance to open them yet. Well, she wasn't kidding when she said she taped the crap out of this. Boy, howdy. Careful there. I think this is the computer. This should be a TRS-80 Model 2 with the disk drive expansion and some printers. I can't remember what else is in there. Oh, there we go. Well, she did wrap it in bubble wrap. Oh, and the keyboard. Keyboard is in the same box. That's a little scary. Let's see if the keyboard survived. Well, I will say one thing. Well, most people keep forgetting to do. They keep forgetting to put the word "fragile" all over the box. She did a real good job making sure it's it's wrote everywhere on all the boxes. And I think that TRS-80 Model 12 that I got. That was damaged in shipping. It didn't have anything written on the box at all, except the address. Well, there you go. There's the keyboard. All the, all the caps lock key looks like it's stuck. Oh, we'll work on that later. All right. She said it was dirty. The way it is. Serial number 530-330. Model 2 microcomputer keyboard. Cool. No date. I don't see a date. Oh, 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 oh. There's things sliding around in the keyboard. Might just be dirt. Oh, and the shift key fell out. Oh, I just, I just snap back in there. That's good. Looks like just dirt. Just dirt coming out of it. Well, she did say it was dirty. Put that in the trash. And there's my cat come to see what the heck I'm doing. Hmm. Yeah, I would have personally. I would have liked to seen thicker bubble wrap, but it is wrapped. Where is that razor blade? <laughs> Underneath the keyboard. Keyboard razor blade. Oh, the monitor's on the other side. It did. Oh, it separated. Oh no, that's never good. Oh dear. Let's put this down and get this out of the box. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I think, I don't think that's broken, per se. I think that's actually supposed to open up like that. Or it, oh, that's what happened. The front cover. Nothing's actually looking broken. Where's the 
There's the keyboard. Looks like all I need to do here is to take these take these two screws out the back, take the cover off, and then reseat it back in there where it's supposed to go. Oh, there we go. Watch well, wasn't kidding about it being dirty. Here's the picture tube. Picture tube is still nice and secure. Well, it looks like it's nice and secure, but I can't help but notice this big gap up here. And it goes all the way to the disk drive. Huh. It's all down in here too. Kinda looks like it got jarred around a little bit. And it just needs to be, yeah, it needs to be taken apart and just like I did with the lid, it just needs to be taken apart and just kind of put back together. That's the uh, disk drive. It's a single-sided 8-inch disk drive with, uh, holy smokes, it's a big, heavy clunker. door wants to work. Looks like something the inside of the covers were real, real dirty too. I think this was in the attic. It's in the attic for a real long time. Let's see what we got here for expansion cards. Doesn't quite look like they're all the way in but they really can't come out either because they're kinda held in there let's give it give one a good yeah yeah they did fall out a little bit I was able to push that where is it I was able to push that one in a little bit yeah yeah a little loose and Give all these cards a good, a good push back into their slots. There we go. Let's see what we got here. This comes up and goes up to the, I bet that's the CPU board there. CPU and maybe expansion bus and that would be the disk drive yeah that's the disk drive well I'm not sure hmm coming down here sideways let's see looks like we got two serial ports a parallel port and a disk drive expansion no hard drive controller Oh, and there's the power. We got a fuse. We got a. We got a good fuse. We got a terminal block down there at the bottom with something sitting on it. Oh, it's like just a piece of tape. Here's the infamous power supply with these ginormous evil looking capacitors in them. I'll bet if this sucker ever blows up it'll make a heck of a bang. I'm looking at that capacitor right there it looks kinda kinda like the TRS-80 Model 3 before it blew up. It looks old and cracked but I actually have one to replace that if, if it does go up. Well, I'm looking at that up here. It looks like something may have water or something may have dripped on it. The spring up here is rusty. And contacts look okay. 
Yeah, something's... Oh, it's just dust. That's just dust. Okay, we got the expansion cards plugged back in most of the way anyway. <clears throat> trying to trying to trace some of these cables to see where they go. Oh, this is the parallel. This this controller here is the parallel card. And it might also be the floppy. Yeah, I think it's also the floppy. This first, yeah, this first card here looks like a CPU and the serial ports. And then this card here, the last one, looks like it's the keyboard and the monitor. And this one looks like a memory card. I don't know if you can see all those memory chips down there. They look fully populated, so whatever memory this computer has, it's, it's full. But like I say, I'm going to have to... Oh, that's, that's not dirt there. That's just... Huh. The paint. The chrome paint has been rubbed off. We got off and on. We got reset. Up for reset. Up for reset. Wow, I wouldn't have expected that. Well, we would too. On, up for on. All right. Well, let's get the get the keyboard over here. It's a cat. Yeah, there's dirt and sand or something in there. Let's see. There's the keyboard connector. Oh, it's not quite long enough. Oh, and that's all the, wow, that's all the cable you get, right there, that's it, because there's the cable there, I'm pulling on it, <laughs> not much, not much playroom there, alright, I got the old keyboard plugged in there. Now what I'm interested in is if this keyboard works, it can be rewired to work with the Model 12. And that's one of my biggest problems with the Model 12 that I have is the keyboard doesn't work. It's either it's either the card, which this looks very similar to the one that's in the Model 12, but it may be interchangeable, or it's the keyboard itself, which in case if this keyboard works, I may be able to get it working on the Model 12, which would be really neat. Alright, that front switch is off. Ooh, if this thing blows up, it's going to be right here in my face. <laughs> oh, I'll let you guys get the first hand. Alright, here we go. Power belt, come on. Oh, I can't get it in line. The suspense is killing everybody. There we go. Alright, there's power. I don't know, is that supposed to be touching like that? That looked really delicate, I shouldn't have messed with that. Okie dokie. Here we go with the first power on, right out of the box. Red light. Fan. No disk drive. Aww. No picture tube. Oh, wait. Nope. There it is. It's working. Let's try. There we got, there we got some kind of screen. Let's try that again. Let's 
Should come up and tell me to insert the disc. I'm not getting any life out of it. Not even the disk drive's not even. Okay, well maybe we'll just trying to do something. Maybe we'll take these uh, expansion cards out. One of them is the CPU or the computer itself. Oh, there's that fan. The power supply seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing right now. We'll test voltages and We'll unplug the cards and clean the contacts and plug them back in and see if that does it. I don't know, maybe I pushed them in too far. I'm gonna try it again. Hmm. Picture tube is working. Just nothing from the computer. It's not responding. Okay. Like I say, we'll take the cards out and clean them and go from there.